gauge pail. I've placed it on the scale to weigh it out, the tear weight. Now I'm going to fill it to 98% of its maximum capacity using water.
orient the tail on the side. pattern from the side drop, damage occurring at the top and the bottom. This is a 26 gauge open head tail with a 24 gauge cover. Uh, it's filled and closed and ready to be dropped. And we're going to perform a UN drop test on the top cover at a center ground. I've raised this tail uh, to a wide 2.1 drop level. That's 83 inches. I'm not going to release the table and drop the tail straight down. This is a comparison of two 5 gallon pails. One is the 24 gauge top, 24 gauge body, and 24 gauge bottom. The other is a 24 gauge top, a 25 gauge body, and a 24 gauge bottom. And we're going to do a side by side comparison, uh, a hydrostatic pressure test comparison. And what I'm going to do is start by filling both of these containers uh, with a water inlet hose. Water is going to go in through this inlet hose, fill these pails, and I'm going to purge air through this other fitting here connected to the gauge. see the tops beginning to expand out. As these containers expand, the pressure will continue to build and drop in cycles. Also see that the bottom is expanding at the same rate. And you can see the tops are bulged out pretty good there and the bottoms also it's actually lifted. And in this case we can see the pale body doesn't expand out, it's just the tops and bottoms that are affected and not the sidewalls of the pail. So we're about 10 kPa from our target pressure. And once we reach our target pressure of 300 kPa or so, it might go slightly over. Uh, we're going to hold that for five minutes is the requirement for this test. Now that we've reached our target pressure, we're going to allow the pressures to steady out after they've gone all through all their expansion cycles. So now we'll let these sit for five minutes and Take a look at the fittings and the seams and make sure we don't see any leaks. This is a test. 
tight end deal with a reach and flex spot opening. I'm going to fill it to 98% of its maximum capacity. I'm now going to prep a reach and flex spot into the top. This is a FS600 Ricky Flex Spot closing. Next, I'm going to check the crimp on this Flex Spot uh, by passing what is known as a Flex Spot G101 Go No Go gauge. Let's pass it over a couple of opposing directions. Properly. A five gallon tight head 24 gauge pail, and I'm going to perform a center of gravity drop on the bottom and the side seam at the weakest point. And I'm going to depress the foot pedal and drop the pail straight down. This is a 24 gauge 5 gallon tight head pail and this is a drop test we're going to perform on the top uh, at the side seam of the fitting and it's at a center of gravity drop so we're going to raise this up to a drop height of X1.6 or 83 or 95 inches. Side. 